Do y'all think that Zach is confused in regards to Karen's baby? Comment down below. I was watching last night's episode. I was like, look, he seemed confused to me. Because he went there telling her he wanted a DNA test, how he's supposed to be sure that the baby's his, as he should. But then, by the end of, towards the end of the episode, he over here talking about some, uh, he want both of his kids in his life. Like, and I said, he don't know how to feel. He don't know what to think. He got his fiance in his ear saying, get a DNA test. That's not your child. That's not your child. But he know he slept with her. And I feel like this is a great opportunity to showcase how this goes in real life. How you got one person in your ear, the person you currently in a relationship with, well, engaged to. Then you got your baby, possible baby mama and all that. And to show how you stuck in the middle. And I was like, Zach confused. What do y'all think? Y'all think he confused? Somebody said he was making them mad and I said the same thing. I said, look, stick to the word. Stick to your word. And he always seemed like he need people to tell him something. I don't know if it's because, I don't know if he act how he act because he's scared of losing people or because he just like to be loyal to the wrong people or what the case is. But the man needs to get it together. He needs to get it together. Because first of all, you know that she is possible. We all know that it was possible that it was somebody else, that it was Aaron's at least or whatever. So the shock, y'all know I've been studying speaking on that. The shock is uh, crazy. Everybody acting shock is crazy. But your fiance, I about to say your Fatima, <laughs> your fiance been telling you, get a DNA test, get a DNA test. You stupid if you think that baby yours and all this other stuff. You had to go to Danny for her to convince you to go to Karen to ask her to get a DNA test. You had to be told what to do. You should know this already. Then, uh, I mean, beforehand, he had already got in the car and he was even in the car. Y'all remember that scene? He was in the car, carrying a grand opening, finna go in, practicing what he gonna say. And he's like, uh, he had flowers in his hand. He had flowers for her. And he's like, can you give me this DNA test to get Fatima off my back and all that stuff? And the only reason he left is because Miss Lisa told him to leave, which says he wants the baby. It, it kind of implies that he wants the baby to be his, or he just, I feel like. It's like what he said on last night's episode. He was talking to Fatima. He was like, he's studying. Look like he said he was going over the case or whatever. Look like it's going to be bad news next week, though. Because uh, he's going to be crying or whatever. Then he leaves out. He tells Fatima he's going to be a good dad and she's going to be a great mom one day. But, yeah, it look like he's going to be crying. So I wonder what's going to happen. But they was having a conversation and he was studying, saying he was studying for, you know, the case, looking over the paperwork and everything. He want everything to go smoothly. And he's like, he missed out on a lot of time with Michael. Um, so he wanted both of his kids in his life. He wanted both of his kids in his life. <laughs> Fatima gave the same look she did last. Uh, it, was it last week or the week before last? Y'all know when he was over here talking about Zach Jr. And she looked up. I said, she did the same thing. She was like, well, we still got to find out. I was like, yeah, he completely. It's like he, I don't want to say he ignoring Fatima's wishes or how she feel. Or uh, he definitely ain't communicating. And she definitely ain't either. I think he just torn. I think he's trying to do what's best for everybody. He's trying to look. Cause what's crazy is, what if the baby is his? Now he don't stirred up all this trouble because his fiance don't told him and Danny don't told him and all this. And not just to put it on them, cause she did sleep with somebody else. And again, I don't know if they actually gonna go with the storyline about third person. But now y'all notice that everybody talking about Fatima uh, was mentioning it could be a third guy. I know that. Uh, she said this last season. She did. She was talking to Andy. And she was like, see here, something's off about this DNA test. It says that Aaron isn't the father, but it doesn't say that Zach is. And then they brought up how they don't even know if the baby is his. They don't know if she's, I said that wrong. They don't know if she's been with anybody else or whatever. Even, look, last night's episode. Then Andy said something about, we need to focus on the child we know is yours. It's something like that. I said, y'all. I said, Larry's and friends, y'all be taking shots in the mug. I said, ain't that what she said? She said something like that. I said, that, not her friends. I said, look, I mean, technically it's true. We don't know. We don't know uh, if Zach is the father or not. We all speculating at this point. Look, they be in an uproar on social media, y'all. Everybody be arguing back and forth. I said, what if it ain't nothing like what we think it is? What if it's something we ain't expecting? I'll be excited to see people come in to see, you know, that we all be looking at the same show, but we don't all take it the same way. But y'all let me know y'all thoughts down below. Stay tuned for the next video. Until next time, deuces. Have a great rest of the day. Be safe.